Okay, I'm back again. I'm going to continue my playthrough of James Cameron's Dark Angel. The last time I played, I just finished stage 3. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my game and continue this game. I'm going to select the Xbox hard disk. I saved it in this slot. Okay, should just be able to continue from the next level. I Corp forces are moving into the sector near your apartment, Max. Based on the actions, See, I Corp forces are moving into the sector near your apartment, Max. Based on the actions that I have been demonstrating, chances are roadblocks are going up all over the rest of Seattle. Whoever is running this operation really wants you in their hands. Get to your apartment as quickly as possible, and I will work out our next move in the meantime. End transmission. So these Ice Force people are after Max, which is the main character you play as. My objective, reach Max's apartment and watch out for searchlights in the area around your apartment. And like last time, you, um, you find lighters and you catch those barrels on fire and they explode and that's what um, that's how you get to the next area you have to crouch and take these guys out stealthily to avoid fighting them which I just messed up and I alerted a bunch of guys which you don't want to do so I'm just going to restart since I just started the stage it's, you know I'm not really losing too much progress because actually I forgot what button does the stealth attack and that's when you crouch and press the Y button now I haven't really played an Xbox game for a while and Xbox um, I really love the Xbox the original one and I, I like the 360 one too I think 360 is one of my favorite systems but there's just so many great games on the original Xbox, and I have played that more than um, I played the PlayStation 2. They just have a lot of great exclusive games on the Xbox. And then the games that are like third party games are just seem like they play better on Xbox than they did on PlayStation 2 or GameCube. But I mean any system's fine to play, you know, whichever game you want to play is fine. Because this game's on PlayStation 2. It's not on GameCube, I don't believe. Yeah, I'm not gonna um, be able to um, beat these guys before the time runs out, so I might as well restart the stage. Might as well just do that right now. I tried, but when there's that many guys on stage, it's almost impossible to beat them within that time limit. I Corp forces are moving. This time I just need to be a little bit more careful. Okay, the guys, that's what I was missing. The guys trying to tell me something. Okay, wasn't anything to help me through this part, but um, yeah, the controls in this game aren't as clunky as I thought they might have been. They're actually pretty solid. That would be the best time to take that guy out. Looks like. I could have been able to do both of them at the same time. So as soon as he walk, turns around, okay. It should be this time. The guy in the black shirt will turn around. Maybe. Okay. I'll wait until 
he turns around, I should be able to take them both out. Hurry, come on. Yes, I got him. Okay. And there's other guys over here. There's a guy. I'm gonna hide. Because I don't want him to see me. There are guys that way. There's um, explosives here. I don't think I have the lighter for it. Um, I'm already forgetting the controls actually. Here we go. I have health, a map, stealth gun, and stealth ammunition. Which I've never, like, I didn't really figure out the stealth gun too much. Let me look at it real fast. You push down on the D-pad again to bring up this menu. I'm going to try to shoot one ammo so that way I can figure this out. Let's see. Okay, it's the black button. Shoots the stealth shot. There is something up there. I need to make sure I get everything. There's a health pack. And I think stealth rounds. I don't want to die here. Um, let's see. There's a guy right there. Or no, that's not a guy. Looks like a guy's legs, but it's like some kind of sign. If I do get caught, it shouldn't be too bad of a problem since there's just like two guys left. I actually use that stealth gun here since I haven't used it yet. You just can't move with it on. Yeah, I'm wasting them. Okay, I want to hide right here. He shouldn't see me. Okay, when the guy in the far uh, back over there. Okay, when he goes that way, I should be able to take this guy out and just beat him up. Probably not the best way to do this. I'm sure I could have got it with stealth. Well, he dropped the lighter. Well, I'm gonna get up these health packs. I'm actually gonna use the health pack. Because I have plenty. There's a radio. This guy's wanting something from me now. 
Sorry, Max, but my frequency is being jammed, so this text message is the only way I can talk with you. While we're on the topic of communication, see if you can get your hands on one of the soldiers' walkie-talkies. You can use these to distract a group of enemies and then sneak around them while they check out the noise. These can be very useful when you want to avoid a fight, but be quick when you use it, as it doesn't take the enemy long to realize that they have been pulled into a trap. Logan out. End transmission. So that may be very useful. I think there was something in his truck. Blow this up. Where's my lighter? Here it is. Get out of the way. And if there's any guys over there, it doesn't matter. They'll come running and find me. Okay, here's the spotlights. I just can't be seen. More health packs. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. It's not what I wanted to do. But, this is in an area where stealth was necessary to continue. Because I don't have a timer. Oh, So I wish I could use stealth there, but it was kind of like, it's hard to see around the corners. That level's over. Not too bad. I'm going to save in slot 4 this time. I just alternate saves in case something were to go wrong. Max, a group of soldiers just entered the lobby of your building. You'll need to take out that welcoming committee if See, you want Max, to reach your Max, a group apartment. of soldiers just Good entered the back. lobby of your building. You will need to take out that welcoming committee if you want to reach your apartment. Good luck, Max. Neutralize all forces in the lobby and board the elevator. Okay, so all I have to do is beat these guys up. And I actually have this weapon I can use. The Tom Phillip, or, or however you say it. I don't know, they're like some kind of fighting melee weapons that have a limited use. One thing I like about this game, it has, uh, like, uh, the levels aren't too long, really, so, or, you get checkpoints, you know, fairly, uh, early, like, in each level, so you don't have to replay a lot if you lose. I think my rage is maxed, I forgot how you use that. Because I know when your rage is maxed out, you can do a lot more damage and I actually need a health pack I'm 
taking a lot of damage. These guys aren't. Need another health pack. These guys are just relentless. Need to figure out how to use my rage before I die. I'm not using any more health packs. If I die, I just restart the level. I don't know if my health packs will come back. I'm gonna retry. I'm gonna check see if my health packs come back or if they're gone. Okay, my health packs are still there. Um, let me look up to see if it says how to use my rage. I have to go to the sound, or the, I mean the controller. Okay, when you click it, the uh, left stick, you get a speed uh, burst. Okay, kick, rage, execute is the A button. Okay, I've been only pushing the X button. Well, Rage executes the X button too. So I wonder if you hold it down. These guys have a lot of health, though I'm pretty sure once these are the only three guys in this area. I'm about dead. I don't want to use all my health packs here though. So I'm pretty sure once I beat these guys and finish the level my health will come back. And I might need those later on in the game. Man, they're hard. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I know I can get it this time. I could probably stun him. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my weapon here. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm not gonna lose again to these guys. up on you too. Throw one guy out of the way then I'll attack the other guys. Okay, throw this guy. Well I don't have to. She knocked him down. So throw that guy and these guys up. Okay. Two of the guys are health is coming down pretty good. I just need to use a couple health. I'll use more this time if I have to. I just want to get through this level. Just trying to minimize how many I use. He's dead. 
he should be dead too in a couple of hits. Now it's got one guy to focus on. Next time, bring flowers. I think that does it. Yeah, that's good. Now I don't have to do that level again. So I'll go ahead and save it in uh, spot 4 again since those two levels are pretty short. Okay, this would be my third level tonight, which Max, if those other two levels are pretty quick. Cindy's just been taken captive by the sector police in your apartment. If you move fast, there are only a few okay, this is Max. If the info is to be believed, original Cindy has just been taken captive by the sector police in your apartment. If you move fast, there are only a few soldiers there. Once you free her, you need to use your apartment as a route for escape. My screen shows the streets below buzzing with troops. The only safe route out is the window and around the roadblocks. Okay, defeat the security team and save original Cindy. It's my only objective. Okay. Pretty straightforward level, beat these guys up. Hopefully they have less health than the other guys I just fought. One thing about the fighting is it's hard like when you're fighting one guy and to like turn and hit another guy. Like, because if you push the opposite directional stick and you'll just keep fighting the way of uh, the, the enemy that you have been fighting. So it's not like games in like Batman where you can like just keep hitting multiple guys based on the direction you uh, push the stick in. I need a health pack. Let's see. I don't have anything else besides a stealth gun and that walkie talkie, which isn't very good for the situation. Let's throw some of these guys. I'm about dead. Use another health pack. I guess two. I'm sure I'll find more in the like sneaking parts of the levels. Okay. If I don't do it this time, okay. I'm just gonna have to retry it. Because I was getting attacked from different angles. It is pretty tough. Like I do have it on hard. So I don't I wonder what the difference would be between like easy, medium, and hard. Is it just like how many like how much health enemies have or I guess how much damage they do to me? Or the, how many enemies there are all together? Or just a combination of everything. Like my punches and kicks don't really take their health down very fast. Try to keep like in against the wall maybe. So that way like enemies can't get behind me. Ok 
Yeah, that's not... Wow, I just got back into that corner and lost all of my health, almost. Wow. I don't even think I took one guy out. So I don't know if it's just I'm really doing bad or if it's really hard. Because I don't remember the first time I played this game what difficulty I played it on. I'm pretty sure I picked hard, but I might have did medium, but I'm not for sure. I just needed to like take these enemies out quickly. See, I like when you punch the enemy and I knock him into another enemy. Like that. Because that really helps. Maybe if I kind of like move around the room to different areas, that'll help too. Okay. I need to figure out my rage thing. It says push the A and B button. But my rage meter stays full when it blinks. Pretty sure last time I played this game I was able to use it. I try pushing them together and I do this like kick split thing. And some of these enemies are about dead. I'm not gonna use the health pack. So I wonder if I damage the other enemy that I'm not like an enemy into another guy. Like those two guys, I wonder if they take some damage too. It seems to be working a lot better. It's just like kind of moving around and hitting enemies into the other enemies. Like this guy, hit him into an enemy, knocks him out of the way. Attack that guy, he's dead. He's gonna be dead too. Okay, he's dead. I think that's all of them. It has really hard, but also satisfying at the same time. Well, they should have known better than to mess with the original Cindy. That is so the log. You better split boot. I can clean up here. Done. Watch your back. Yeah, I'm done with that level. See, those levels were really short. Because the other day when I played, like, I played three levels, but they were a lot longer. So I may actually get some more levels in tonight. A lot more than I did the other night. Okay, Max, someone knows you are trying to get to my apartment, so watch your step, and something else strange is going on. Some unidentified non-military vehicles are approaching the area outside my building. I don't like this, Max. Get here safe. Okay, rendezvous with Logan at his apartment. Reports show many armed soldiers entering the sector. Okay. Troops are mobilizing some kind of biofence quarantine around my building. I'm not sure what's going it seems on. Seems troops are mobilizing some kind of biofence quarantine around my building. I am not sure what's going on, but they are obviously doing something special. I'll monitor the situation and let you know if anything changes. So, I wonder if how these guys heard me. If they heard me, or if I'm supposed to fight them. I'm getting like attacked. I'm like getting wrecked here. There's a health. It's just like the last mission. It's just like a barrage of attacks. I need to get away from these guys.
need to use the health pack. I'm almost dead. Oh, that ain't help, cause I was totally wrecked right there. Basically, like when you get surrounded, it's just hard to get out of it. I'm gonna try it again. This time I'm gonna try to be quiet and see if those guys chase me. Max. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna grab this. Then I'm gonna see where these guys are. Okay, so I can use stealth here, I'm pretty sure. Well, that didn't work. I'm almost restarting here. Because there's no point fighting them if I can use stealth. I mean, if it was later in the game, yeah, I'd try to do it, but... Since it's the very, very beginning of the level, I'm not going to, like, worry about fighting them. And I could just restart the level and just try it again. But I gotta clear his transmission thing away. I probably could use that walkie-talkie, but... I don't know if I want to mess with that or not. As soon as he turns, I'll grab him. Maybe. I'm gonna go try to move. Okay. I want this guy to see me. That's three guys down. There's two guys down there. I don't know. I don't want to stay here all day watching these guys try to figure the pattern out. I don't know how far away I can be before they see me. I'm going to use a stealth gun. Okay, that worked. He didn't see me. I actually wasted a stealth round. I pushed the wrong button to, to back out of it. Okay, I can take this guy out now. That actually worked. I don't have to fight him. And he dropped what I needed. Steven, Herp, and the Bandicoot. It's like an old movie theater. I gotta look around here and make sure I got everything. I don't know which way I have to go. Here's something. Some health. I don't see anything over here. Here's the barrels I have to blow up. Use my lighter and run away. I'm gonna crouch just in case. Oh, here comes a couple guys. There's no way out of this. 
This guy's shooting me. Take him out first. I'm not gonna let these guys beat me this time. Just gotta throw this guy. Whoa. I wish I could do that a lot of the time. I know what I did. Click the button. That's what that yellow bar is for. This is a like speed boost. Yeah, I gotta get this guy out of the way because he's shooting at me. One enemy's down. Okay, I'm using a health pack. I think the guy with the guns, um, I think I killed him or whatever, knocked him out. Okay, that's all of them. Looks like I got a key card or something. I'm gonna have to use another health pack. And I did. I got a key card for a door. Okay, here's some health packs. I think two of them. That'll help out since I had to use a few. I don't know if there's any more guys up here or not. I don't know. There could be. I don't see anything else. Okay, this guy Max, wants something. I can't believe this, but radio chatter says Max, I can't believe this, but radio chatter says some type of genetically altered soldier was released into the quarantine area. I'm just getting a visual. I I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like this. It's burrowing holes in the asphalt like it's a butter. I'm going to look for some more information in the I Corporation's research network. Hey, that doesn't sound too good. I'll make it a straight shot over here to get this, which is a walkie-talkie. Yeah, I feel like there's got to be some enemies coming up or something. Yep. Okay, there's a whole bunch of enemies again. like a massive amount of enemies. I'm getting shot. So I'm gonna use a health pack. I guess two of them. Use some more health packs. Quit shooting at me. <sighs> I knocked him back and then that didn't help because he got up and started shooting at me again. I'm probably going to die and I have to start the whole level again. This guy wasn't shooting at me. 
Okay, so I knocked him back. And he's gonna get up and start shooting at me. Unless he died. I need to figure out this rage. I'm gonna use a health pack and not like going through them too fast. There's no point in trying to knock these, hit these guys when they're on the ground because they always hit me now. He dropped a key card to number two. Okay, what's down, uh, down this way? Anything? I guess, um... I guess if I had to redo this level again, I think right here before I got to this like alleyway, if I threw that walkie-talkie over there, I may have been able to just bypass all of these guys. Because I think I was running and he heard me. So if I like wasn't hadn't been running, maybe they wouldn't have been alerted to where I was at. So I think I have to go that way. There may be something over here I can grab. Maybe like a health pack or something. Now that's the, where I use a key card. But I don't want to go that way yet because there's something over here. Gotta be careful. Oh good. This will help me. Got another melee weapon. You have to be careful here. Okay, there's like two guys I see down there. I don't know if I could get down there without being seen. As I play through this game, I start remembering things, but it's like, like it always happens that way. Like I can't, like don't remember too much if it's been a long time since I played a game. Like what happens until like I start playing through it and I can start recalling certain things from it. I'm about dead. I'm gonna go ahead and use the health pack again. Just I don't want to have to restart the level. This has been a longer level than some of the other ones. 
Yeah, it's been more difficult. Okay, he's got a key card. Got another health pack. Maybe this is the end of the level. That seems kind of scary. that he looks like he's gonna be tough. Hope there's a save point or checkpoint. Okay, I don't even know what I... Oh, I'm afraid I'm, if I die, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess punch him after he wears out. He didn't wear out too fast. I can't use, it won't let me use health packs. I can't do it. I can't even get away from him. I can't get close to him. I couldn't get, do anything. I hope I don't have to do the whole level again. Good the checkpoint. Now I don't care as much. See, like, I get knocked down, and then he rolls into me. I can't do anything. He, he tires out, but I can't get close enough to punch him. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Every time he r runs out of breath, I'm on the ground. I can't get up to punch him. Which I think is like the only time I'm able to hit him because he's so fast. I don't know. I'll just keep trying. I avoided him that time. Of course, I messed up. Completely missed him. I missed him again. I notice if I kind of jump, he can't hit me. I need to figure this guy out. There's gotta be some kind of way to to do this. Keep in mind I'm good. I noticed my rage meter. Okay. I forgot about speed running. If it lets me, yeah. My rage meter is uh, like filled up all the way. But I don't know how to activate it. I'm glad this was a checkpoint. Because if it wasn't, like, I'd never get through it. I'd have to keep making my way to him just to die. I need to beat him.
Maybe if I like run away from him. If I can dodge, like when he does that ball attack, where he charges me like that really fast, that's when he wears out. But he hits me with it, and I go flying to the ground. I just have to keep doing it. Punch him. Hit him twice. Stuck on the door. I was stuck, I couldn't do anything. If I could run and jump. Okay. I didn't want to get hit that time. I got stuck again. I'm getting stuck in the graphics. Or into the like stuff on the, in the level. Maybe when he's about ready to charge me, um, I could do a dash. Just avoid his stuff until then. I dashed him that time. If I hit him three times, he falls to the ground. And now I can't do anything. Okay. No use even getting close to him again. Okay. He does that thing where he uses both hands. I think that's where he's charging his jump up. Where he like, you see that light coming out of him? Yeah, if I can't get close to him, like, I think he's charging. Okay. Dodge. Punch him a couple times. Back away. He's charging again. I couldn't get up in time to do anything. Wait till he charges again. Okay. Dash. Dash too soon. I can't get close enough that time to do anything. Wait now. I'm dead. But I think I got a better understanding of what I have to do. Which Just basically figuring him out. Okay. Okay, wait. He shoots two balls, two green balls out of his hands. He charges and then he dashes. I punch him three times. If I can't hit him three times, he'll go flying back. Okay. Now. Punch him three times. And he'll fall down. Okay, that time he charged. I didn't know he was going to charge me. Okay. Dash. But he still hit me. Charge. Dash. Punch him. I want to hit him three times. Okay, he's gonna charge. When he charges, I'm gonna go this way. I did hit him a couple times. Charge. I want to kind of go like from. I did it too soon. But if I do it from left to right, I notice it, it may be a little bit easier to do uh, dodge them. Like wait right here, and then dodge them. Okay, I think he'll charge up. Okay, dodge, no, shoot. But I'm gonna have to do it again. Oh. 
Yeah, this guy's pretty tough. I mean, he's got a lot, he's just like the other enemies. He just has a lot of health. See, what I want to do is get into this pattern where like... See, I never know when he's going to charge at me. I feel like I need to do it again. Because I lost too much health already. I'm just not doing good this time. Charging, I'm running, I dodge, and I dodge too late. I either dodge too soon or too late. Sometimes I get lucky and get a few hits in them, but I have max, so uh, like whatever the rage is, but I can't use. I don't know how to use it. And every time he hits me, like right off. I'm not expecting, I just I forget about it. Okay. Dodge. Beat him up. I only got one hit in. Sometimes I can get one hit, and sometimes I can get two or three. Okay, dodge. I did it too soon. Okay, at least I got a hit in and didn't get hit. Okay, he's gonna charge. I tried to, I clicked the button, but it was too late. I can get a couple hits in. Okay, charge. And I'm gonna... That time he did it like almost immediately after he charged. Like there's just no like, it's hard to d judge this. At least that time I dodged it. Okay, shoot green stuff. Charge. Okay, and then dodge. Punched him a couple times. Charge. Dodge. Kick him this time. Then he hit me. Charge. Dodge. And I ran straight into him. I got a feeling this guy's gonna be the rest of this video for today. He is kinda of tough. Dodge. Even though he got like wore out that time for whatever reason. Dodge. Punch him. At least I, I, I thought he was gonna get me that time. Dodge. And that didn't help me at all. I'm taking too much damage. And I'm not hitting him enough. Yeah, this time I'm just, just messing around. That time, because I was doing bad. At least I get infinite retries on him. Okay, dodge. He was wore out that time. And of course, I fall for it, and I think I'm going to be able to hit him, and he shoots me with those green balls. Look, he did like two or three hits on me. That was like four hits, and I'm like halfway health. Okay, I punch him like three times and look at his health. Like, he hit me with the green balls and I was, was still on the ground. I couldn't even move. This guy is just ridiculously insane. I could beat this guy. <laughs> he hit me already. I 
need to move. I'm doing bad again. I'm just gonna let him hit me. I don't care because I can't beat him. Not that right, not this round. I kind of have an idea now. It's just that charge. That charge is what gets me. I need to watch out. Okay, he's gonna charge me as soon as it loads. See, I can't. I have no way to anticipate when his charge is going to start. Like, I don't know when to click the button. He just does it super fast. Okay, I got an idea. Okay. I got an idea. Um, when he shoots that green ball, dodge it and then hurry up and run up to him and punch him. And just make sure I dodge that. Take that beetle. Dodge the two projectiles. Punch him again. Just dodge this crap. Okay, kick him. At that time I was in the middle of a kick I couldn't move, but this time I gotta dodge him. Dodge, 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 okay. Okay, avoid the two attacks. Okay, he's charging again, I got. I have to dodge it. Come on. No! Okay, avoid the two things. Beat him up. Okay, he's charging. I wasted it. Come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. No! Okay, avoid the two light, uh, green bolts. Punch him, I missed him. While oh, running away, I... No! I was trying to run away and I accidentally clicked the thumbstick. I think I can do it this time. I finally think I figured it out. I just can't dodge that. I don't know why. Kick him. Okay. Dodge, maybe. He's out of breath. Avoid his two green things. Beat him up. Okay. Dodge this. Beat him up. Just kick him, punch him. Okay, shoot two green balls out. Punch him again. I wish I would have figured this out earlier. If I could just avoid his uh, like charge attack. Okay, green balls. I can punch him now because he's vulnerable. Just dodge him. Okay, I think I finally got this guy. Avoid these two balls and I got hit. Dodge, nope. If okay, two green attacks. And he's dead finally. Wow. That was kinda hard. It took me a while but I got it. Yes, yes. The key was just like dodging those two green blast things he does and just run up to him because he doesn't do anything. It's just that like, super fast attack he does. It was get, like confusing me. I just got an email from someone called Cillin. She says you have a twin sister. Cillin. Max, tell me. Who's Cillin? Cillin was one of us. Just another kid being trained to be the ultimate soldier. When the 12 of us escaped, she stayed behind to buy us time. I traced the email to a military group called the I Network, specifically from a genetic research lab called TriTech. I accessed a transportation request that had someone's barcode number on it. 
I'm going after her. Okay, that's the end of that level. Do I want to save the game? Yes, I do. I do not want to have to fight that guy again. I'm going to save it in the first slot. I'm going to override it. Okay, I think um, since I just beat that guy, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because I know that guy took a while and I I think I did four levels tonight. So that's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think I'm like at least halfway done with this game because I know it wasn't way too long of a game. But yeah, I think I'll, I'm, I'm going to stop the game here for tonight. And then I'm just going to, maybe tomorrow I'll play some more. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everybody.